Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this is Terry, and TJ, and I was just showing them my products, and then I banged my elbow into my uh, vice over there, and it's bleeding, and Terry tells me that if you put cayenne pepper mm -hmm. on the wound, it will stop the bleeding, it will hurt for a few minutes, and then it will um, numb the pain. Okay, well, let's do that then. There, TJ. Do you want okay, with cayenne pepper, pepper on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Just kind of shake it around. Okay. Dump that off in there. Okay. All right. Okay. So you just do that. Let's do that. Just wait a few mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. It looks like it's all right. Let me blow it. <sighs> okay, so we got a little cayenne on there. It's not. Oh, I can feel it burning a little bit. A little tingly. Yeah, but that that stops it, huh? Should stop the bleeding. It had already kind of started coagulating. Right. But. But now I'm it gonna... should it should accelerate the healing process. Oh yeah, that makes sense because it's very very stimulating. Mm -hmm. I made some kimchi and I always massage the kimchi and my hands burn the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and I'll put some, put a band-aid on there. Ooh, sorry about that. And Terry, would you like to plug your business? Uh, we're... I own Red Umbrella Cosmetics and I appreciate that Brett. Go to redumbrellacosmetics.com. And what do you, what is that just for cosmetics? All natural cosmetics, yes, yes. Because whatever you put on your skin goes into your skin and you want to be careful about what that is. Cool, yeah. Hey everybody, this is Brett. And I have Terry over here buying some millet holes. And she was just looking at my spine rollers, right? Yes. And you rolled on it? I did roll on it and I got several pops. Uh huh. Yes. Correct. Several times. Yes. And yes. why else are you interested in the rollers? Well, I also have um, some issues with my shoulders. Sometimes they freeze up on me. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in seeing if that would help with the frozen shoulder, frozen shoulder issues that I've had. Mm -hmm. And I was just telling her that you can adjust the width of the roller to be wider, and she hasn't tried that yet. So let's try opening this up and we'll get it so that it's rubbing on the inside edges of her scapulas. I'd say that that will probably be a little wider. Okay, so try that. And it's hitting the trigger point that bothers me. It's really hitting the muscles that tighten up. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, and there was a pop. You cracked more. I did. Now, how many times have you cracked now? Um, I tried three different rollers and probably cracked five or six different vertebrae areas. Mm hmm At least. And lots of little crunchies, getting out the little calcified, whatever. Yeah. It's so important to stimulate your spine. I do this every single day. And my back is so much healthier than when I was like 40. I've, and I've been rolling on my rollers for 12 plus years now, every single day. And they're very sturdy. <laughs> oh yeah, these, these wood rollers, they're not going to ever like break. Feels good, eh? It does. It does. 
Oh, and there's more gristly stuff. Definitely. So, what do you think? I think that they're nice. And they're very, they're beautiful too. Definitely beautiful and nice and definitely massaged several issues out of my back because we've been traveling. And so mm -hmm. I've been sitting in a car and it's been really tight. Mm -hmm. It's definitely made a big difference. Well, thanks so much for helping me with this video. Absolutely.